Now for the next five minutes, we're pleased to have joining us Charles Gould, Director General of the International Cooperative Alliance. Take it away, Chuck. Thank you, Joel. Uh, it's a privilege for me to be part of this, uh, this webinar. I appreciate the opportunity. Uh, let me share what, uh, reinforce what Paul said, and that is that this is a very exciting time for cooperatives. We have a wonderful story to tell, and uh, we need to tell it more frequently, and we, frankly, we need to tell it better. And we have a real opportunity to, uh, to do that, especially with the United Nations year uh, coming up in 2012, which I'm going to talk about in just a, in just a bit. Uh, in the next uh, five minutes, what I'd like to be able to do is to uh, give you a, first a sense of the, uh, the incredible network that you are part of as part of the cooperative movement around the world. And I'm going to do that by talking uh, just a, a little bit about the International Cooperative Alliance, who we are, who we represent, how we came about, and then uh, highlight a couple of the key initiatives that we have underway now that uh, I think are of some real relevance for you. So in the, uh, the, the next slide shows you the, uh, the statement about who the International Cooperative Alliance is. And we see ourselves as the global voice for the cooperative movement, uh, short and, uh, sh short and, uh, and simple. Uh, so we uh, represent cooperatives uh, at global bodies, for example. And if you move on the next slide, you'll, you'll see some of that. Uh, we represent cooperatives at the uh, United Nations with United Nations agencies. Uh, we are headquartered in Geneva, so we're right uh, there with the European uh, Center for the, for the uh, United Nations, with the headquarters for the International Labor Organization, and with other uh, NGOs who work in this, uh, in this space. Uh, ICA came about in 1895 when cooperators from around the world uh, came together in London and decided that they wanted to form a, a, a representative body that would help advance the movement and advance the, the uh, interests of, uh, of cooperatives. Uh, since that time, as you'll see on the, on the screen, we have grown to where we now have members in over 90 countries and, uh, and we aggressively manage the cooperative image and speak for cooperatives. Uh, some, of those, some of that is on uh, sort of general development issues, on getting out the word about uh, who cooperatives are, what our principles are. We see ourselves as really stewards for the, the values and principles of the cooperative movement. And our members are very active in making certain that those uh, uh, stay alive and are refreshed and relevant, and yet that they also stay true to the, to the roots of the, uh, the cooperative movement. And we also uh, provide that representation in technical ways, for example, by working with the International Accounting Standards Board to make certain that the accounting standards that are adopted and that influence accounting practices around the world recognize the unique uh, needs of cooperative enterprises. So we do this uh, with a, uh, a board that's elected uh, by the members. You'll see that on the slide. Uh, we are very representative. Uh, we don't sit in Geneva and, and just uh, tr and dream up new initiatives. We're very driven by the, the members we have. And we have four regions uh, who elect uh, uh, board members. And the vice presidents, for example, come one from each of the regions. On the next slide, you'll see the other uh, members of our, of our international board, uh, including Paul Hazen from the United States, who you just heard speak. So uh, the US cooperatives are very well uh, represented uh, as well. We have, in addition to the regions, we have specific uh, sectoral organizations in key uh, cooperative areas. And you'll see them listed on the next slide so that we have the facility to take positions that are business related in these various sectors. So it's a, it's a complex organization. It's one that's developed over the years. And we have both regional and sectoral um, facilities. The, the, the key initiatives that we have uh, right now I'm going to talk about just briefly. And on the next slide, you'll see the one that Paul uh, alluded to, the United Nations International Year of Cooperatives. This is our key priority for the next two years. Uh, it is an opportunity to uh, tell our story. It's an opportunity to make certain that uh, the public is aware that cooperatives are successful business enterprises that they are values-based, and that they have the scale and impact to really make a difference uh, in the world and to solve many of the problems that people around the world are experiencing today. So our board has um, uh, determined that the key priority that we should take on 
on the global level is raising public awareness of cooperatives as a successful values-based enterprise. Uh, we will be uh, launching a public relations campaign to do this. We'll launch this at our General Assembly in Mexico in November of 2011, and it will run throughout the, uh, the following year through 2012. And our hope is that we will be able to uh, persuade our members around the world to adopt the same slogan and image of cooperatives as part of their, their marketing materials, as part of the packaging of their products, as part of posters, brochures, and other means that they already have of communicating to the public so that we can integrate a consistent message around the world and drum it home time and again so people see the same image. And so we can, get, we can catch their attention uh, and make them curious to know more about cooperatives. Another way that we're doing that on the next screen is our Global 300 report. Uh, this is a report that uh, we'll be producing again at the end of December, and it lists the largest cooperatives around the world. And what we want to do with this is to make sure that the business press and the media and the public are aware that there are large cooperatives as well as small local community cooperatives that this is a, a values-based model that can rise to size and scale to really solve problems beyond single communities, and that it is a, a serious uh, business model that needs to be playing a larger role in economies around the world. And we want them to understand that, in fact, that is happening now. The largest 300 uh, cooperatives around the world have a collective uh, annual revenue in excess of $1 trillion uh, US dollars. So they're already 10% of the global economy, and that's just the 300 largest. So we want to make certain that that message is part of the public awareness of cooperatives. Uh, finally, on the next screen, you'll see a reference to uh, the International Cooperative Alliance's Expo 2010. Uh, every two years, we have a trade fair. Uh, this year, it will be coming up in December, and the dates are there, in uh, Bangalore, uh, India. And it's an opportunity for buyers to come together with cooperators, cooperators who are displaying their, their products and uh, create new markets for them. So on the, on the last slide, uh, I just want to, uh, in summary, uh, reiterate that uh, this, this is the kind of time that's very exciting for cooperatives. It's a time in which cooperate, cooperatives thrive. Uh, we have a message to tell that the current uh, dominant economic system has weaknesses in it. People know that. They're receptive to a new model. They're thirsty for a model that has human scale. And we believe that the International Year is a wonderful opportunity for us to, to respond to that, uh, that interest that the public has to, to discover new ways of, of doing business and meeting their needs. Uh, we believe at ICA that by the end of this decade, uh, cooperatives could be the fastest growing enterprise model uh, in the world. And, uh, we uh, look forward to providing some leadership to make that happen. So thank you. Great. Thanks so much, Chuck.